This is Annette from Needlepointers.com. Do you need a gift idea for kids to make for mom, dad, or grandparents? Or are you looking for a project to do with your kids this summer? How about a fun do-it-yourself stepping stone? With a stepping stone kit, your child can easily make a charming garden accent for any yard. Let's see what this stepping stone kit has inside. You can see on the cover there are a number of designs that it has shown to you. When you open it up, there are, of course, some instructions. Along with the instructions, they have some patterns that you can use to make it. In this kit, they have some alpha numeric stamps. Also, it comes with mosaic glass. The concrete and a reusable mold. The child can use the pattern that comes with the kit or they can make up their own pattern. They can also use other things that are around the house like these are floral beads, shells, and stones. You can use the reusable mold over and over again. All you have to do is purchase some concrete and use items that you have around the house to decorate it. To purchase some kits, and supplies for making stepping stones, please click the iCard or the link in the description below. A number of years ago, when my grandchildren were visiting, we made stepping stones. I just love them and have them in my garden every summer. It is such a nice remembrance of the grandchildren. Thoroughly read the directions a couple of times so you know what you're supposed to be doing when you're making the stepping stones. For mine, it told me to put some uh, cooking spray inside to help release the, the uh, concrete once it's finished. And mine also had a bag, this bag, that I could put the concrete into to mix it. Um, if it does not come with a bag, you might be able to use a gallon storage bag or you can also use some sort of a pail or container from um, the dollar store. Now, uh, mine said to add 12 fluid ounces of water and then I'm supposed to seal this. and remove the air and then gently squeeze it together. <gasps> oh, it spilled out. Mine spilled. I guess I didn't have it sealed properly, but make sure it's sealed and then gently stir it together. Now I will probably have to add a little more water to it Maybe I'll just hold it because it doesn't seem to want to seal. And mix it all together. Now once you have it completely mixed, it's, I don't have it yet, there's some dry up here. Now it should not, it says that it should not be sticky. And as I said, since I've lost part of my water, I think I'm going to have to add more. Now, when I did it with my grandchildren a couple years ago, I actually used like um, a pail. And now that I'm doing it this way, I think that that might be the easier way to do it. Okay, let me continue to mix and then I'll be back with you. I'm gonna add a little more water. It says to add one tablespoon at a time which I'm going to do. And then after I get it thoroughly mixed, 
I will be back with you. Uh, another thing I want to tell you is definitely, like I did, please put some um, newspaper or something down in order to uh, protect your table or your work surface. Okay, I have it all mixed together. Then it says to place it inside the mold. And as I said, I think that I like the other method, using a pail or a plastic container to mix it before. When I was working with the grandchildren. So, we want you to spread it completely out in there. Also, when I worked with the um, plastic container, I was able to get the concrete out of it better than with this bag. Okay. Now let's just spread it all around into the corners. And it says to bang it in order to get air bubbles out and to get it flat. Okay. Now it's time to put the design on. And I am going to, I cut these out. This is going to, is the outside. So I'm going to just lay it down a little bit so I know what I'm doing. This is going to be here, here, and here. Now, I am going to put some of my mosaic tiles around here and also around the outside. So I'm going to remove these two and then I'm going to start to just put tiles around. And I'm going to just do it no specific pattern. I'm just going to place them on there. No specific color, but just put some all around on here. So I'm going to continue to put my tiles on, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like at that point. As you can see, I finished placing the mosaic tiles on there. I'm going to put some lettering in between here, but in order to do that, according to my kit, I have to let it dry at least 30 minutes to an hour, and then I have to test it to see if it's too wet, and if it's still too wet, then I have to wait another additional, like 15, 20 minutes. So I'm going to be putting this aside, and then later on, I'll show you how to do the lettering. Okay, I believe that it's dry enough, so now I'm gonna to start to put the lettering on. And what you do is, um, I have the letters across the top, they're upside down so that they'll be pressed in there the right way. But you start with the middle one, and you press that one in first, into the center. And then you'll do the ones that are next to it, and try to space them evenly apart. Okay, I hope you can see that. That one says dream. Now I'm going to put words on the other sides also. And then I'll be finished with it and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. I finished putting the words on my stepping stone. The next step is to let it cure or dry for 24 to 48 hours before taking it out of the mold. The stepping stone is completely dry, and now it's time to remove it from the mold. Okay, it's finished, and now I'm going to take it out to my garden. 
The stepping stone looks lovely in my garden. I hope you enjoyed this video learning how to make stepping stones and decide to have your kids or grandkids make some. Please like, comment, and share with friends. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest by clicking the i card or the link in the description section below. At our website, needlepointers.com, visit the Kids Corner category for lots and lots of free crafting projects and tutorials for kids.